my name is Matthew Smith. I'm one of the sales managers here at Doucet. Uh, today I've got the opportunity to introduce to you the HRS 120, so that's the high speed ripsaw. So its predominant function is for cutting up uh, panels to make strips. So we can do from 48 inches wide by a thickness of four inches. And for OSB, we can go all the way up to 96 inches wide. So the machine is pretty much standard, but based on your requirements, we can customize this machine to fit, fit your needs, whether we need to put in additional infeed at the beginning of the machine, or we need to put something else at the outfeed to collect the material once it's been through the high-speed ripsaw. We can run material through this machine at 120 feet per minute. Normally, the smallest motor that we do with this machine is 75 horsepower, but depending on the number of blades that you use, the thickness of the material, the width of the material, we will then determine as well what's the biggest size or the size of motor that you require to meet your needs. So currently this machine has a 150 horsepower motor because we need it to, it to be that big to cope with the material that we're passing through the machine. The HRS 120, its predominant uses we could use in the wood industry. So if you've got a panel that you need to reduce down to strips, so that could be anything from MDF, particle board, OSB. Um, and also if you've got insulation where, that is stuck onto another panel and you need to cut it down, we can do that as well. Sheets of plastic that you need to cut to strips, we can do that as well. So the, the application itself is quite broad, so we can customize this machine to meet your needs. The HRS is really designed for continuous flow, high production volume. Um, a key feature for us is safety. So we've got anti-kickback that will stop the material from jumping back out. And also inside we've got a sensor that detects the rotation of the arbor. So any time that arbor is still in motion, there's no chance that an operator could actually enter into the machine. Safety is high priority here at Doucet. So with the machine as, as well, we, we need to adjust for the different thicknesses of material. So at the start of the machine here, we, we can adjust the top rollers. So we just wanted that the top rollers are just above the material. So when the, when the material enters in, there's a small travel of the rollers to hold down that material prior to going in where the blades are. And it's the same at the other side as well. We've got the same there. We can adjust those to be up and down. So you need to just make sure that you've got the right height. So we haven't got a big travel of the top down rollers to ensure that that material is pressed firmly against the, the bottom feed rollers to ensure that we get a, a, a perfect cut going through the machine. When we're cutting all this material, we need to make sure that we extract all the sawdust from the machine. So for that reason, we have a 10 inch hole diameter uh, port at the bottom. And at the top of the machine, we also have two more, but they're only six inch diameter each. Just to make sure that all that sawdust that's generated is removed from the machine. We've got an arbor in here with different blades on it, depending on what the, um, the thickness of the cut you need to be. So we've got spaces that go in to build up your, your cut profile. Um, to change this out, there's a few bolts that we have to undo and unclip, and we can slide this out. So for a changeover, we, we take about 15 minutes to do the changeover, and it needs two people. So it's really, take this one out onto its own dedicated trolley, bring the second trolley in, push in the second uh, set of the arbor with a different setup of blades, I close everything up. 15 minutes later, we're back into production. So this is the cart that the, the arbor sits on. So this is the second arbor that we've got. So at the moment, we've just put the sleeves on, or the spaces. So in between, we'll put the different blades depending on the profile that you need. When it's in this state, we wanna make sure that we can take these off. So we've actually got a little strap here that we can lift it up. These just slide off. Um, you put it down, bring the rest forward, pick it up again and slide them off. And then you can put in the spaces according to what you need and the different thickness of your curve of the blade to build up your next one. Once this is set up, this enables you to have that 15 minute quick changeover between the blade that's already, that's still on there and this one. So 
this speeds up that process of the quick changeover. We always have one empty cart and one cart that's got one of the arbors on it. So this is the one for the one in the machine. So when you come to take it out, we can just push this in, it locates in, slide the other arbor out onto this trolley, move it out the way, bring the second one in, same procedure, just in reverse, and you've got that back in place and ready to start work again.